Magandang araw mga kapitek. Ako po si Sir Willie, ang inyong lead trainer para sa inyong uh, LET Review Program. Narito na naman ang isang video intended lamang para sa inyo and sana ay marami kayong matutunan at makatulong sa inyong preparasyon para kayo ay maging isang licensed professional teachers. Good luck sa inyong lahat and magandang araw. Magandang araw mga kapitek. Andito na naman tayo sa isang video para sa inyong uh, let review. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood sa ating mga videos. This time naman, ang ating focus ay ang uh, child and adolescent development. Ito ay session number 8 na. And uh, we're looking forward that uh, sa mga bago pa lang ay pwede nyo pong i-visit. Balikat yung ating mga ibang mga videos na nagpo-cover no, sa iba pang mga professional education subjects. Later on, uh, tsaka tayo magdudwan naman sa ating mga major subjects, mag-usapan naman natin yon in another separate videos. Okay? Let's go. Let's start off with question number one. According to Simon Freud, there is a stage where in young boys experience strong rivalry with their father for their mother's affection. This period is known as, ang tawag natin dito sa uh, sa period na iyan, katawag natin dyan ay, yan, letter A, Oedipus Complex po yan. Kapag uh, we talk about the boys, attachment sa kanilang mga mother. Kapag babae naman, we talk, it, we talk about Electra Complex. Alright? So, dalawa. Dalawa po, pwede nga na dyan. It's not Achilles Syndrome or the Cassandra Syndrome. So, but rather, yung ating letter A, is Oedipus complex. Okay? It can be applied in many different contexts later on kapag kayo ay makaka-encounter ng iba pang mga tanong sa net. Okay? Question 2. The following are true in the development of the understanding concept in early childhood. Except, okay, in early childhood, except we have, ang tag natin dito, we have A, abilities to reason and to see relationship. Sensory experiences, ability to explore the environment, or ability to ask questions. Ang keyword natin dito is uh, development of understanding concept in early childhood development. Tamang sagot ay, yan. Kasi hindi kasama. Kung syempre, you talk about the early childhood, hindi mo pa yan may expect na magkaroon sila ng reason and uh, ma-determine yung degree ng relationship ng mga pagay-bagay. Okay? So, hindi pa kasama yan dyan. Okay. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. So let's continue with question number three. The following concept of development is true, except. So yung keyword natin dito ay yung term na development. No? Concept of development. So A, development is a continuous process. Sequence of development is the same for all children. Maturation has nothing to do with the development or certain reflections present at birth. Anticipate voluntary movement. So kapag konsepto ng development, alin dyan ang hindi kasama, correct answer is letter C. No? Maturation has nothing to do with development. Well, basically, Maturation is everything related to development. It's a continuous process, that's right. And the sequence of development for is the same for all children. Yung tinatawag natin na uniformity, yung, yung sequencing. Although hindi pare-pareho ng pacing, pero yung sequence na nangyayari ay pare-pareho. That's already proven. And uh, of course, certain reflects present the birth that dissipate, uh, dissipate voluntary. Okay? Question 4. Which of the following is an expression of the child's interest in his body? Looking at the, themselves in the mirror, looking at the picture of adult women, men and women, commenting on the various parts or comparing themselves with others. So in this case, tamang sagot ay looking at themselves in the mirror because it is an expression of the child's Nagkakaroon siya ng interest sa kanyang, uh, yung kanyang katawan, yung kanyang figura. So, uh, always, no, makikita mo yan sa mga bata at that particular age, mga 
four, five, and six. You know, they become curious about who, who they are and what they look like. And they are always looking at themselves in the mirror. Yan ang mga ano. Kasi dito medyo ano yan. We look at these three choices. So, hindi siya nagre-refer doon sa kanilang interest sa kanilang katawa. Okay? Question 5. Which statement should be omitted when we talk about adolescence? Okay? Which statement should be omitted when we talk about adolescence? So, meaning, parang hindi kasama sa group. Begin, it begins with the onset of puberty. It is a time where the young person is no longer a child. It ends when puberty is complete. And uh, it is a time of preoccupation with owns one uh, thought. Correct answer? Yeah. It ends when pub puberty is complete. No? So this is not uh, necessarily true. Okay? kasi omitted. So it will not end when puberty is complete. Uh, that will still continue parte ng development ng ating uh, individuality. Question 6. Who among the following proposed that human activity is based on association and response? Okay. Keyword, association and response. Sino ba yung pinakakilala dyan? Of course, kilala sila Skinner, kilala sila, sila Thorndike, si Pavlov, pero sino ba sa kanila? Answer? Ayan. Si Edward Thorndike. No? Yung law of association and response. Okay, alam naman natin. But of course, uh, again, uh, si Skinner ay kasama dito. No? But uh, ang pinaka-credited no, for that uh, uh, concept no, of association, association and response will be Edward Thorndike. Okay, question 6. Uh, question 7. Motor development is manifested by a child who? Oh, ayan. So, keyword, motor development. So, hahanapin mo lang dyan kung alin. Learning how to run, steer, and jump. Uh, as playmates. Recognizing sizes of toys. Knows how to control his emotion. Very obvious yung sagot dyan. Nakita nyo naman. Yan. Ang keyword ay motor development. So, the motor development will be related to this option. Letter D is the correct answer. Question number eight, what do you call a phenomenon in psychology wherein students perform better than the others simply because they were expected to do so? So, anong tawag natin dyan? Okay. Correct answer is, yeah, Rosenthal or the Pygmalion effect. So, uh, there is a kind of a generalization because... Uh, students perform better than the other because simply they were expected to do so. Uh, the expectation will be good or high on this particular group than the other. So it is expected that uh, no, ang nagkakaroon ng, uh, ng phenomenon na yung grupo na yan, ito nagkang magagaling. Yung John Henry at saka Hawthorne effect has something to do with the social experimentation din na, na kung saan, ito yung sinasabi ni John Henry. So, it has something to do with uh, a kind of uh, phenomenon no? in the science, science phenomenon. Tignan natin yung, yung definition ni, you know, ni Hawthorne. So, no, ni John Henry. Okay. So, pag sinabi natin na John Henry effect, mayroon din kasama dyan sa ano, so John Henry effect. Pag sinabi natin na John Henry effect, no? Uh, experimental bias eh. experimental bias found in some individuals where they are in a social experiment the individual experiencing the John Henry effect will perceive that they are at a disadvantage compared to the others so kapag feeling nila disadvantage nila they will do something very uh, extraordinary to, to say the least para magkaroon ng uh, ano, overcome yung perceived disadvantage so that is John Henry effect Okay. Ayan. Okay. Question number nine. Teacher Ben scolded the pupil named John for not listening attentively. As a result, the whole class paid attention to, to teacher John. What explains this phenomenon? Placebo, ripple, John Henry, or halo effect? Correct answer is, ayan, ang tawag natin dyan ay ripple effect. Uh, this is different with halo. Kasi yung halo naman, 
pag sinabi natin na halo effect, uh, the tendency to assign positive qualities to an alam. Yeah. It's a kind of a, a, a bias, no? Uh, parang nagkakaroon ng association. So, nilalahat mo na lang yung character ng isang individual. So, for example, a bad student who has a bad attitude may be really smart and do great work. But the teacher might believe that the student isn't a good student because he is not a well-behaved student. So, yeah. Pabaga, always associated na kapag magulo, hindi matalino. Diba? So, so, kung nalaman na yung batang ito ay magulo, ah, hindi matalino yan. So, hindi na matalino yung tingin doon sa bata. Hindi na magaling. So, there will always a cloud of doubt kapag uh, nagpa-perform yung bata. That's halo event. So, that is different with the ripple effect. In this particular case, question 9, it's a ripple effect. Question 10, what educational view promotes that education started from the primitive people, particularly those of the tribe? Evolutionist, creationist, progressivist, or culturalist? Correct answer. Anong keyword pala natin dito? Uh, education started from the primitive people people. Okay? So, correct answer natin ay evolutionist. Okay. So, evolutionist theory. Creationist, progressivist. Progressivist is closely associated with pragmatism. Okay? A realistic view of uh, looking at uh, things. Question 11. Prathul is famous for his taxonomy of affective domain while Anita Haro is known for her Saan naman kilala si Anita Haro? Affective, cognitive, psychomotor domain, or uh, metagognition? Anong tamang sagot natin is that, let's go, psychomotor domain. Okay. Si Crathwell is for the affective. And then, uh, uh, we have uh, Anita Haro naman sa uh, psychomotor domain. Question 12. According to Erickson, a major conflict in the first year of life is between trust, mistrust, related versus isolation, autonomy versus shame and guilt, or initiative versus guilt. Okay. So, tignan natin yung kay Eric Erickson dyan. <clears throat> Ang importante dyan, eh, alam natin na itong si Eric Erickson eh, is about psychosocial, di ba? Si Eric Erickson. Yung mga stages of development. May mga stages yan eh. We talk about the stages. So we have trust, mistrust. Ang number one natin. Yeah. We have trust, mistrust. That is the uh, the first major conflict in the first year of life uh, of a particular on the development of the child. Pangalawa dyan will be autonomy versus shame and doubt. That is about early childhood. Initiative versus guilt on uh, the play age at 3 to 6. Okay, and then we have uh, school age, adolescence, early childhood, and so on. So, makikita natin yan na, na mga stages ng development. Ito yung natin na uniformity, no? Na pare-pareho yung level na yan. Hindi yun lang mag, na yan. May mga variation ng konti in terms of the age, but in terms of the direction, they have the same direction. Okay? So, first major conflict, I trust mistrust on infancy to one year. Uh, what infancy? Zero to one. Early childhood? No, ano ba itong early childhood? Pag sa early childhood, autonomy, no? Early childhood, this will be from three to six. Yan. Pag zero to one, zero to one, this is under the trust, mistrust. Ano pa? Initiative versus guilt, this will be around three to six then. Initiative, autonomy version, and also, sorry, 1, to 3 pala. 3 to 6 yan, ang autonomy will be 1, to 3, okay? Relatedness versus isolation, uh, intimacy or isolation, that is, yun, anong, anong age yan? So, that's another stage of the development. So, this will be under early adulthood, about 19 to 29. Question number 13, who among the following educators proposed the placement of children in a prepared environment? Ayan. Montessori, Thorndike, Kilpatrick, or Frobel? 
correct answer? Montessori. Maria Montessori is uh, very much credited for uh, her works in terms of the early childhood development. But a very, ang, ang nauna dyan na napigyan ng more credit in terms of yung coining ng kindergarten naman ay si Frobel. But in terms of yung prepared environment na pinag-uusapan natin which was adopted by most of the educators na nakikita natin sa ngayon, ginagamit natin ni Montessori template. Question 14, identification with peer groups uh, gives an adolescent a measure of security, decreases during adolescence, reduces self-worth, or seems to always lead to incredibly destructive behavior. So when you are identified with the peer group, ano tamang sagot? Ayan. It gives an adolescent a measure of security and a sense of identity. So, alam naman natin yan, nakaraniwan yan na under the adolescent age. Nabanggit nga natin that during the adolescent age, ano ba yung uh, ano sa kanya pag adolescent? Identity versus confusion. This is a, a period in which uh, nakikipag, uh, ano, uh, the, the child is starting to identify what particular role, gender role, ang kanyang piniplay, di ba? Uh, Na-identify niya yung kanyang uh, individuality. Yeah. So that's really, really very important from the 12 to 18. Question number 14 and uh, identification with the peer group is letter A. Finally, question number 15, who among the following advocated that we face a specific psychosocial dilemma at each stage of our life? Okay. Again, psychosocial, pag sinabi natin yung psychosocial, I see Eric Erickson. Psychoanalytical, I see uh, Simon Freud. Si Kohlberg naman ay morality. Alright? Ayan. So, again, uh, mga kapite, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Isa na namang video ang natapos para sa inyo. We'll see you next time. Hoping that you will continue to watch our videos.